I found the Kern Baby image and was completely struck by just what an amazing image it was. It's just beautiful. And there's a smell, a really special smell that you get when you unwrap them, which is extraordinary. I think people should be interested in Sir Benjamin Stone's photographs because they not only show us a unique visual record of the Victorian era, but they also serve to remind us about things which are disappearing from our own existence and kind of lives at the moment. He wanted to capture the moment and give it to posterity. And the fact that this causing so much interest, he'd be thrilled. is doing is using a very potent symbol to tell a story and to reflect on history in a really, really interesting way. I wanted to make something that made you question, why has this been made now? And how does it make me feel about the past and about life in Birmingham and elsewhere now? We're taking the Kern baby up to Walton in Northumberland, where that original photograph by Benjamin Stone was taken. All these traditions and festivals, these seasonal and customs, function on a very similar level in terms of the way they bring communities together. There's a lot of community pride in the fact that they are upholding these traditions. And it's something that makes them unique. We all come together to celebrate things at various points in our lives. And the fact that these seasonal customs and events happen is because people need things to mark the change of the seasons and the turn of the wheel of the year. It's just fundamental to human beings. I think it's just what we do. Obviously, harvest festivals Turning the last sheaf of corn into a figure to be paraded around the harvest field was something that happened in many parts of the country, but it's something that continued up to living memory in this village.
horribly before the war. I remember it being made by a lady that lives around the back behind the old post office. And she used to make it out of straw, of course, and it was about three feet high. I think it used to finish up in the church. It used to be in a knockover where the crib is now. Yeah, and she's fast. I love her. I just expected it to take up the whole garden. I, yes, I thought it would be <laughs> wider. It's remarkable to bring that image of a corn dolly, the Kern Babby, into the modern world. And I think that it revives a lot of past thoughts and it's a step into the future. They really need to know their heritage. And of course, Walton has a wonderful heritage. At least I've never been to another village with it. Such traditions do bring people together. They remind people of what's gone before. They're something which are part of the present. And with the youngsters involved in all the activities, it's something which presumably they will remember and keep going and want to persist for their generations to come as well, their families to come. It was a special custom and it's really brilliant that we're able to go up there and learn from people that are directly connected to the generations that made those things happen and see how they feel about their identity now based on that.